Beloved Masters, returning to the narrow path of ascension in consciousness is the beginning of transcending opposites where there is no good or bad, right or wrong, only harmonious personal choices within the accepted spectrum of duality. As an empowered, functioning self-master, you will make only the highest and best choices for the benefit of all. Slowly, but surely, the imperfections you have created both in your inner and outer worlds are being rectified. It has taken a very long time for the earth and humanity to reach the present state of imperfection that is now prevalent. The level of transformational progress that has been made by you, the earthly legions of light, in such a short time is truly miraculous. Indeed, the multidimensional doorways of the past are closing, and the doorways of the future are opening at a faster and faster pace as the process of ascension accelerates. The fear of change has been a major controlling factor within your conscious awareness for a very long time. In the beginning of your journey into density, you sought a great variety of self-expression and change, and you delighted in each new creation. It has only been during your earthly experiences that you have forgotten that you were a co-creator endowed with a full measure of creative abilities, and that you have a direct link to the power source of creation via the river of life or light. As you learn to breathe deeply and effortlessly, you descend into your sacred heart center where the creator and creation are one. This is when you begin to awaken and realize that you are experiencing your reality through a veil of illusion, that you are the dreamer as well as the dream. You begin to release yourself from the bonds of the mass consciousness belief structure, and you begin to seek your own higher truths. At that time, you begin the journey back into wholeness as you strive to recreate yourself into the sun child of our father or mother God a being of light which is your divine heritage. The creator is the source of the breath of life. The breath is your lifeline to and from the all that is. As you inhale, you receive this gift that originates from within the heart core of the creator. With each exhalation, you send this gift of sacred breath back to into the realms of the infinite source of life. As the veil between your world and ours gradually dissolves, we have endeavored to give you the tools and the knowledge you will need to function and be comfortable in an expanded reality as evolved soul-infused human beings. It is important for you to understand that we have the capability of monitoring the major thought forms or the most prevalent beliefs of the masses on the earthly plane of existence and through our highly developed senses we can observe the ebb and flow of the light and shadows in every part of the world. You are now aware that there are streams of life or light, which flow throughout the omniverse, into each universe, subuniverse, galaxy, solar system, planet, and into every sentient being. Once you begin to awaken to actively seek to strengthen the connection and to ask for guidance and direction that personal light line grows in brilliance and strength. We of the archangelic realm, radiate streams of refracted creator light throughout this sub-universe. These living streams of light radiate the qualities, attributes and virtues that we embody as representatives of our mother or father God, and it is our divine mission to make them available to humanity, the earth, and all creation. When you focus your consciousness on any one of us, you automatically connect with one of our millions of light streams, and we are instantaneously aware of you. It is like tuning into a radio station, or plugging into an electric energy socket. The strength of the light stream and the connection depends upon the frequencies you embody or the harmony and strength of your energetic signature and your soul song. Each person's soul self is endeavoring to assume its proper role as the director of his or her life's experiences. There is a tug of war going on between the soul self and the ego desire body for the ego does not wish to relinquish its control of the four lower bodily systems, physical, mental, emotional, and etheric. The soul is immortal and could be called the personality of your God Self. It remembers who you truly are and all you have experienced throughout your many sojourns as a conscious God Spark. The ego desire body is an integral part of your physical personality, and your physical, mental, and emotional bodies have been encoded with the attributes, the weaknesses, strengths, challenges and opportunities you chose to experience in this important lifetime. You have always chosen or agreed to the karmic lessons you would endeavor to resolve in each lifetime. Free will also applies within the in-between lifetime state of being. You are advised and suggestions are made, however, you have always made the final decisions. 
you must endeavor to rise above the everyday stressful situations so that you may transform moments of discord into hours of serenity. It is vitally important that you focus on what is right in your life and within your personal world, and it is important that you begin to envision yourself as you desire to become. We have emphasized that you must practice non-judgment and that includes non-judgment of self. Remember, you now have access to all of the creator particles of light or life that you can draw forth into your sacred heart, and never forget that these adamantin particles of creation can only be activated by your pure loving intention. Also, we remind you that when you have integrated the vibrational formula of abundance, and accepted it as your truth, it becomes a part of your soul song. Thereafter, those frequency patterns of abundance will radiate forth, from the front and back portals of your solar power center in an infinity sign, thereby creating a constant flow of abundance in all good things. We spoke long ago about the virtue of selfishness and this shocked many of you, for it was in direct opposition to what you had been taught in past ages. We ask you to consider, how can you become or give what you have not claimed for yourself? It behooves you to become a radiant shining example for others, and to share your love or light and wisdom with the earth, humanity, and all creation. When you are functioning within a harmonious mid or upper fourth dimensional environment, and you are tapping into the power, gifts, and awareness of the fifth dimension via your crystalline pyramid of light, you are then given access to the cities of light, which are stationed strategically in the higher dimensions around the earth. In doing so, you begin the flow of adamantin particles, the elixir of love or life, into your personal fifth dimensional pyramid, and the etheric replica that you left there so very long ago. From that point on, you have a supply of creator light flowing through your vertical river of lifeline into your physical vessel, via the crown chakra, which supply will be stored within your sacred heart. Once you connect with this divine source of power or life or light, your earthly reality will never be the same. You are to take what you need for the supply is unlimited. See these sparkling particles flowing throughout your body in a stream of glowing light, balancing, transforming and empowering. Through the techniques we have given you, especially the infinity breath, you will automatically send forth the blessed gift of creator light out into the world. After you state your intention, and you have your ritual as a bearer or conveyor of light firmly anchored within your mind, you no longer have to focus on sending forth these transforming particles of light, for a divine schematic will be in place and it will automatically follow the paths you have chosen. You can assign a percentage of your adamantin particles to the world pyramid or the world server pyramid, for the upliftment of humanity and the earth, and you can also dedicate a portion to the group pyramids in which you are an active member. Also, don't forget to infuse your work pyramid your projects and seed thoughts with an ample portion of creator light. When you are filled to overflowing with love or light, and spirit is the director of your life and experiences, you no longer worry about getting your share of love, wealth, respect, and so on, for the validation of who and what you are comes from within that is when you move into the unselfish mode of a self-master. You know you have access to the riches, virtues, and talents of your divine birthright and you are not dependent on anyone or anything in the physical world, for you have become a sovereign being of light. We also wish to clarify some confusion about free will. When we ask you to pray thy will be done, we are not asking you to give up your free will. We are endeavoring to help you to make the highest and best choices you can intelligently make. It is also wise to state, I ask for this or something greater, for my highest good and the greatest good of all, for you may not always know, because of future circumstances, what the highest choice may be. When you call upon your higher self each day when you arise, and ask that your will be aligned with the will of your divine self for your greatest good each day, you are giving your soul self permission to guide, inspire, and direct you. You will be strengthening the connection between your higher self and the beings of light so that they may begin to communicate with you through your intuition, and they will assist you in making the perfect choices each and every moment of the day. It will also speed up the process if you state, I now place my ego personality under the control of my higher self, and henceforth, through our unified efforts, we will create only beauty, harmony and balance within and around us. This will allow your higher self to begin to direct you toward your highest destiny, 
and it will speed up the transition process via the integration of your physical, mental, and emotional bodies with your spiritual self. All of you are being asked to make some important, major decisions as you prepare for your forthcoming fifth dimensional destiny. Remember, you are always in control of the final choices you make. My valiant ones, these transformational years can be the most exciting, fulfilling years of your lives if you will just begin to tap into your sacred mind via your sacred heart. You have brought forth into this lifetime many wonderful talents and abilities, however, you must consciously begin to access and bring these gifts into your awareness so that you can perfect them and then share with others. Allow yourself to envision the perfect world you wish to create, and then follow spirit's nudgings as you take the action necessary to manifest your dreams. You must use the gifts you have been blessed with so that more may be bestowed upon you. For many of you, there most likely are those who are presently in your life, or who may come into your life, who will try to discourage you from your path. There may also be some family or friends that you will leave behind as you step onto the path of enlightenment. As you learn the lessons that are presented to you, and are ready to advance toward the light, they may remain stuck in the illusion of the third or fourth dimensions. It will be their choice so do not judge them. Bless them and allow them to follow their own chosen path, but do not allow them to deter you from yours. Courageous hearts, those like you are in the vanguard, the ones brave enough to step out and away from popular beliefs and the limited mass consciousness of the lower dimensional environment. Your destiny as a ways hower is to become a shining example to those around you by projecting love and harmony. If you do nothing more than this, you will have fulfilled your current earthly divine mission. See yourself surrounded in the violet flame of transformation, and then project this radiant flame out into the world of substance. See each adversity as seeds of opportunity. As you move through each lesson and gain the value of its teachings, know that you will never have to experience that particular situation again. Bravely going forth to seek and live your own truth is the first step in taking back your personal power. Again, we remind you, your sacred mind holds the memory seed atoms of your past and the future, and it is your personal source of the divine will and power from our Heavenly Father. These memory seed atoms for the future must be incubated within the sacred heart and the adamantine particles of Creator Light ignited by your love, and through your pure intention and actions they are manifested in the world of form. Abundance of all kinds is a natural manifestation when you are in harmonious attunement with spirit and the divine plan for the greatest good of all. Beloveds, it was never intended that you should journey alone. We are waiting to reunite with you and to offer you assistance during these accelerated times of change. We have often asked you to call on us, for we are only a thought away. We now ask you to envision a stream of light, a lifeline flowing forth from your heart center and connecting with us. You may create a connection with as many of us as you wish and, together, we will surround the earth with streams of creator light. You are loved most profoundly. I am Archangel Michael.